Hey there guys, it's Tina, and as promised, I am back! And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And during these times, I hope you're also staying sane because, whoo! Alright, I hope you guys are navigating everything that's going on with your peace and sanctity in mind because... All right, so with that being said, I am back to share with you my new makeup room. As I mentioned in my last video, where do I, is it here that I, where do I link videos again? I pretty much go over where I've been, why there haven't been videos for a couple of weeks, so check that out in case you're interested. But long story short, I have moved and therefore, I have a new space so I wanted to share this area with you guys just walk you through the room it's pretty simple it's pretty basic I'm all about functionality at this point I'm not into the glam room setup so don't expect that at all everything here is about functionality so if you want to see this room I'm going to show you some of the pieces up close you know just so you get an idea of where I am and the layout of this room if that's something that you might be interested in seeing then we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it and give you a quick tour of my new makeup room all right let's get into it all right guys so welcome to my new space this door that you see right here is the entrance to the rest of the apartment and I also have another door that goes to a bathroom but we're starting off at the entrance where you see an over the door organizer. This is from the container store and I just have like bottles of skincare, sunscreen and so on over there. That way it's away from sunlight and heat. Let me give you a quick up close view of the over the door organizer. Again, this is from the container store. I will link it down below, but there are four different trays and I have skincare so sunscreen moisturizers i have some body care products makeup removers facial sprays some more facial sprays sunscreen essences really tall bottles of skincare everything is stored right here away from the sunlight and it adds this extra storage area without taking up any more space in the room and i have a mirror a lamp and a little fake palm tree is it would you consider it a palm it's a little palmy thing it's just to add some greenery and color to the room as you can see it's completely white over here we have a bookcase where i have some nail products at the bottom i have my jewelry case here my perfumes and another jewelry case here's a quick look at my perfume collection i think that's everything so far my favorite perfume is of course Daisy Dream that's kind of my signature fragrance but I've been loving my Tom Ford and I have a few of the Le Labo fragrances I had picked up a sample pack so I'm going through these to see which one I really love of course I have my replica fragrances oh and another one that I love is this clean reserve scent it is, which one is this? The warm cotton. Love that. Oh my God. Simple perfume collection. I don't go crazy, all right? And I'd also shown you guys my jewelry organizer. This is from the container store. So there are different pieces that stack together. So I have all my jewelry organized. They have the drawer organizers, so they pull out. But then you also have the organizers that, uh, they're a little bit more awkward, but... They are just boxes and they stack, so I really love that for my jewelry. And this paint in here, I did it myself at a sip and, is it, is that what it's called? Sip and paint, paint and sip, drink and something. It's where you drink and you paint in like a group. I didn't drink, I had Coke, but not Coke, like, <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I didn't indulge in like cocaine Johnny Depp style. I had like Coca-Cola, right? And here's the other entrance I was mentioning. So in there is my bathroom. You see the toilet there? The door stays closed, but I just wanted to show you guys that there is a guest room bathroom. So yeah, if I need to go take care of business, that's where I go. On the side, you see that mirror right here? That's a closet space. Here we have my nail polishes. 
I just built this little shelf for myself. It's not that complicated. It's a wide piece of board with acrylic organizers screwed onto it. I'll probably just show you guys up close. Here is the up close of the nail polish rack. Again, I made it myself. So I purchased these acrylic shelves from Amazon. They come in packs of four, right? And you can screw them on to your wall. But what I did is I purchased just a white board from Home Goods. I measured in between and just mounted them all the way down so I could fit all my nail polishes. And I just have them stored here. This is way too heavy to put on the wall, like to hang it up. So I just have it propped up against the wall and it's on this hat box that I received with one of my PR packages. But I mean, I'll find another place to put it, but for right now, it works in the corner. I don't need it to be in sunlight or anything. So I think this location kind of just works for it. I have my work desk. So this is where I work. Don't mind the cords. Like cords are the bane of my existence. Like, oh, I know I can organize them, but I don't, I don't care that much. But here I have where I work. So this doubles as my office space since I work from home. And then also as my beauty and makeup space. So back to the entrance over here in the background you see again my acrylic organizers that are not going to change i know some people are like oh change it up why it's functional and it works so i have my drawer system here these drawers you guys have seen before they're from ikea they're the gallant storage drawers they work perfectly for organizing my makeup and i have my acrylic organizers from the container store I put up some artwork. So here is a better view of the painting that's in my background. The artist goes by Pink Lomaine. She is a black artist from Germany, but she's currently residing in Austin, Texas. I will leave the website linked down below for all her artwork. She has canvas prints, regular prints, so you can frame her prints, or you can even get a tote with her artwork on it. I got this at Home Goods in New York. This was so beautiful. I couldn't say no, but there are tons of prints available. And I mean, it's so stunning. And then I have my lipstick and lashes. That's what I'm calling it. But it's like brows, lashes, lips, which is kind of my go-to look if I'm trying to look put together. But this is also from Home Goods, and it just fit in with the aesthetic or the vibe of the room. We have a little plant. It's fake again because I need some greenery. And look at my teddy bear. The teddy bear is the Moschino. Remember that Moschino palette? And the little bow around its neck is from Kaleidos. And look how well it goes with the paint and shut your mouth. All right. And then I just have my makeup and stuff. I have my little candle from Christian Audette and Mel Thompson. I miss you girl, rest in peace. And I have a mirror that caught me, the jerk. Okay, so let me move over here, all right? This mirror here is a jerk. So at the bottom, I have like a little crack. I don't know if you can see right there. It has a little crack, so it's sharp. And I was picking it up and the friggin' thing sliced my leg. I'm gonna insert the shot right now of the blood running down my leg. Warning, you're going to see blood, but I just don't oh. understand, like, why did it have to attack me? Anyway, there's that mirror there. I really didn't have another place to put it. It's not really functional because I can't really see once the door is open, but whatever. And a little cheap ass lamp from Walmart. My YouTube play button. And then over here is a big ass window. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a water view. And it is so common. I never knew that being by the water would be so common for me, but it is relaxing, especially like when I'm working at my desk, I can see outside. So I just take a look outside and the window is huge. It goes almost all the way down. So I have tons of light in here. And then I have another cheap ass lamp from Walmart because I'm not trying to spend all that money on lamps, okay? I'm over it. And then I have my rug here. The rug is really for, it's really for protecting the carpet from makeup stains because a lot can happen when you're in this makeup area, but it's not even that big. So I can still get makeup on the carpet, which these rooms are carpeted. The two bedrooms are carpeted, but the bathrooms, of course, the kitchen and the living space is not carpeted. Anyway, 
Over here, you have my second desk. The desk is from Ikea as well. It's the Alex desk with the two drawers. I love this because it's really wide. So wide as in it's wide and then it's long and then I have the two drawers where I can house like my regular everyday makeup. On top I have some more acrylic drawers with like skincare and my foundations. I have my mirror, my little setup for filming. The mirror that you see, the lighted mirror is Glamcore and I love it, okay? The lights that you see are also Glamcore. I don't use soft boxes. I don't use those big mirrors with those big bulbs that you see in other people's like videos and setups. Those just look so big and clumsy to me. I like things sleek and neat. Even though like my vanity setup is not like the sleekest and neatest and most together, but it's still sleeker without those big bulbs. You know what I mean? And then under there, I just have a drawer system that I picked up from the container store as well. So they have these little drawers. I'll just show you guys them up close in a bit. But under here, I have this makeup bag that I need to go through to show you guys like my hero collection. The makeup that I put aside for travel. And then I have a box here with some extra makeup that I need to go through. And then I have another box here with um, brushes and a box that I need to do a collaboration with. So you'll see that coming up. I have my chair with my towel on it because I wipe makeup off on it. But this is like my setup for filming and doing makeup, which I think is both functional and practical for me. I can film without having to set up anything special, you know, it's my filming area, but I can also just do my makeup. So that's why I like it. And here is an up close view of the drawer system that is under my desk. Again, this is from the container store. And each of these are individual pieces. So they're individual boxes. You can buy them and assemble them however you choose. They have smaller boxes like these here. Those are shorter. They have higher boxes. And of course they have the wide boxes as well. I will link them all down below. But I put this under my desk to store products that I want easy, quick access to. Right now it is just storing overflow products and some extra items. But I want it under my desk to be a little bit neater than it was at my previous apartment. Under my desk was such a disaster and I didn't want to do the same thing here, replicate the bad behavior. So I figured these drawers could store whatever excess products that I had, any overflow, any new products that I was testing out that I was keeping the boxes. So I have my different hand towels here that I use for wiping off swatches, cleaning brushes. I keep one of these on my desk at all times. You'll see it right there, yeah. And then I also have like the empty boxes of products that I'm working on right now. And I keep the boxes so I have the information, I have the details, I can read from them. And also, okay, if I choose to return it, I have the boxes right there. I have more towels and extra things down here. I have travel containers. It's just, like I said, it's just the storage area for now of different things, you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, I have nails in here and I think I have nails here too. So empty drawer, this is again just here to give me some extra storage just in case. And then over here I have my fancy little artwork, yeah. My fancy glitter artwork is also from Home Goods. All of my art pretty much is from Home Goods, but it says fancy. Again, doesn't that just go with the room? I mean, come on. And it's actually glitter, so it can get messy, but I kind of love it, right? I wanted to put it in the background too, but I feel like it would clash with this. Should I put it, ooh, should I put it over here? I might try that. All right, so I did a quick little change and put up my fancy artwork right there. It doesn't clash too much, but yeah, I think that's cute. That works, right? And then I put my hummingbird artwork here instead. I think that works, right? I think that works. So new background which you guys already saw in the introduction. But yeah, that was just a quick switch up to mix things up. 
And then I have like a little system here that I am going to use to store like little things that I need right next to me, like my brushes. So you have all my brush organizers there. I still have to sort through my brushes, but that's where my brushes will sit. They used to sit on my desk, but then I wouldn't have any space or anything else on my desk. So I took them off, cleared them out, and now this is just how it is. And then I have this little rug down here that I think I'm going to unroll as needed. So when I'm doing makeup, I'll just unroll it. But I just took it out of the way for right now so my chair can roll. And then you'll see I have a little footstool and my office chair. I don't like those big bulky office chairs just because they're not that comfortable for me. But yeah, here's my space so far. It's bigger than the previous space. There's more space like here in the middle for me to just walk around. And then I have so much space over here that I can have two desks next to each other, right? And it works out again because I'm over here, I'm working, and I can use that for editing too. So my setup works with my MacBook and for my regular Windows computer, my calendar on the wall. But yeah, it's just simple, functional. That's what I am, what is that? Oh, that's the camera power, whatever, okay? It's just really functional for me right now, and that's what I need. I don't need like this aesthetically, ple I mean, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's cute to come in and see it, but it doesn't have to be all the way like crisp and luxury and clean. Like, I'm good how it is right now. So there you have it. It's the new space. The background is new, but also kind of familiar, so yeah hold up hold up y'all okay i did a little tweaking and i organized my cords oh my god look how much better that looks so i reorganized the cords everything now looks nice and organized under my desks oh my god i feel so much better so now you have a better view of what my desks look like so boom, filming setup, makeup setup, work desk. <laughs> I feel so much better now. All right guys, so there you have it. You have officially been introduced to my new makeup room. It's not really a makeup room, honestly. It's a workspace because I have my desk next to me that I do my everyday job. I also have my filming setup but it doubles as my vanity and makeup area and then I have my makeup behind me. Now one thing you will notice and I'm glad it happened now, you'll see that I have a lot more natural light. I don't mind having natural lighting especially for filming because it works out really well. However, sunlight and makeup don't go well together. Did you guys know that? Yeah. You want to actually keep your makeup out of the sunlight to extend the life of your makeup. So that is one drawback that I am working against. So I have to close these blinds every day at about this time, which is, let's see, 5.30. So that's one thing that I have to navigate around. And I think I'm going to end up putting curtains right here. I should because that will block out a lot of the sun. But that so far is the only drawback, but it's also a pro because I love the natural sunlight and I also love the view that I get. So, you know, it is what it is. And also because of that natural light, I end up being backlit and it affects the lighting for filming. So yeah, I'm gonna have to navigate that. Let me see if I close the blinds, if I'll be better lit. I mean, there are studio lights. You saw the lights set up, my glam core, my mirror, my ring light, like a whole situation is going on in front of me. So I should be getting light bouncing off, but then I'm looking darker, so hold on. And just like that, right? Everything has changed. So this is the lighting that I prefer to work with. It's less finicky, I have more control over it. So this is probably how I will film. But aside from that, I just realized that this is the very first time I am like sharing an entire room tour on YouTube. Like in all the years I've been here, like well over 10 years, I have never done a full room tour. And that's for a few reasons actually. One, I just feel like 
it's not necessary I don't have to show you my space like I don't have to show you everything that I got going on like why you know I'm big on privacy and on top of that I feel like when room tours are done they're very showy and they're very extravagant and then it opens you up to comparisons and criticisms and it's like well your setup isn't as good as this one's setup and then people want to judge you and say oh I don't like how it looks it doesn't work for me and it's like doesn't matter what works for you though it works for me and I like it so what are we doing here you know and I'm probably gonna get a lot of those comments right now and I do not care. I am strong on blocking, okay, and hiding people from my channel. I really don't care, all right? But it's simple, it's basic, it's functional, and it works for me. That's all I need, so <laughs> there you have it. But I just like realized that tidbit that I've never actually shared any of my living space with you guys. And this will probably be the first and last time. <laughs> now, it probably won't be the last time, but you won't see like another room tour from me anytime soon unless I relocate again, which I probably will in the next couple of years. So there you have it, enough yapping. I have just gone on for no reason. <sighs> Getting back into filming guys. Yeah, you remember that I could ramble. I just recall that I could ramble and we're gonna end it right there. So I'm gonna leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along, and until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys!